The NFL season starts in less than a week, and these are my predictions on who will be the top teams this season and also who will make the playoffs and be the champions of the Super Bowl. So, to start off, let's go from AFC to NFC. We're going to start off with the top teams and the seedings first and then move on to who wins each matchup. To start off, the Kansas City Chiefs, once again, they come up number one in this season and finish with the best record in the AFC and get the only first team NFL buy for the AFC. And then the second place team, I believe it will be the Cincinnati Bengals. And then the third place team will be the Buffalo Bills. The fourth place team, Jacksonville Jaguars. Obviously, this one, I believe, is only going to be because of divisions. And we all know divisions go by 1, 2, 3, 4. And then the fifth seeded team will be the Pittsburgh Steelers. The sixth seeded team would be the Miami Dolphins. And then three teams from the AFC North. The seventh team will be the Baltimore Ravens. Moving over to the NFC. The first seed team and the lone buy for the NFC is going to be the Philadelphia Eagles. The second place team in the NFC will be the San Francisco 49ers. They're going to be dealing with a lot this season, but I still believe they'll win the second seed because there's no really other matchup. I believe it's going to be hard for them, and they're going to win the second seed. The third seed will be the Minnesota Vikings. The fourth seed, this one's also going to go by division. The NFC South is really a poor division and not really high talented this season compared to other seasons meaning that New Orleans Saints will get the fourth seed and become a playoff team the fifth seeded team will be the Dallas Cowboys and the sixth seeded team will be the New York Giants and the final seed in the NFC they're going to sneak into the playoffs the Seattle Seahawks so that's who's going to make the playoffs from the AFC and the NFC now let's move on to each matchup now I'm going to flip over back to the AFC and go from the top of the bracket down to the bottom of the bracket. So as you see, the Chiefs get the first round by and the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Pittsburgh Steelers face. It's the fourth seed against the fifth seed. This is going to be the second straight year that the Jacksonville Jaguars get into the playoffs and they actually won against the Los Angeles Chargers last season in the playoffs, if you remember, moving on, making a big comeback late in the game and winning it. So, it's Jaguars versus Steelers. I believe this will be a good matchup, and if you remember from a few years ago, go back in like 2018, when this matchup last occurred, it was also Jacksonville Jaguars versus Pittsburgh Steelers, and it was a shootout between Blake Bortles and Ben Rosberger. And the Jaguars end up winning because the Steelers defense couldn't do anything. But I think that switches this season because the Steelers, I believe, are a real sleeper team in the NFL. I know this is a Steelers channel, but I do believe this is going to be the year that the Pittsburgh Steelers finally win their first playoff game in a long time. And it comes against the Jacksonville Jaguars. I believe the defense is going to be elite this season for the Steelers. Even though the Jaguars have a good offense and they really put up good production last season, I still believe this matchup is going to favor the Steelers because of their defense and because of their high-powered talent on offense. So the Steelers beat the Jacksonville Jaguars and they move on to the second round of the playoffs. Moving over down the bracket, the Buffalo Bills versus the Miami Dolphins. I believe this matchup will be our first shocker of the playoffs and the big upset of the playoffs so far. So I have the Miami Dolphins beating the Buffalo Bills. I know the Buffalo Bills are a highly talented team since Josh Allen came into the league and their offense and their defense is always good and they've always been able to stop the high powered teams. But I do believe this is a year Miami Dolphins break out and have that big year. We've been waiting for it. Since Tyreek Hill joined the Miami Dolphins, we knew that this offense would be highly talented and highly explosive. It all relies on Tua Tagovailoa staying healthy and not getting injured and not dealing with those concussions. But I do believe this is a season where the Miami Dolphins put it all together. It still all relies on their defense because even though they do have a highly powered offense, their defense just has not been great since Tua has been on the team. But I believe this is a year they break out and their offense overpowers the Bills and the Miami Dolphins shock the Bills as the Bills were the third seeded team and the Miami Dolphins were what, the sixth seeded team? In my predictions, I believe the Miami Dolphins move on and it all relies on Tua Tagovailoa playing good and playing healthy, getting the ball to Tyree Kill, the run game, and the explosiveness of their offense. So this is the first upset. Going down the bracket once more, the Bengals 
versus the Baltimore Ravens. This one's going to be a good matchup as well because they're both AFC North. And as we all know, even though you look at the matchup and you're just like, hey, Cincinnati Bengals are a better team than the Baltimore Ravens. Yes, that could be said. But AFC North and division rivals, that's always a good matchup and always a close battle. Usually these games aren't as high scoring as more between which team makes less mistakes. And I believe the Bengals will make less mistakes and they'll move on to the second round of the playoffs, beating Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. So the AFC, the teams that move on, are the Chiefs, the Steelers, the Bills, and the Bengals. Now switching over to the NFC. Obviously, like you see, Eagles have the first round bye because they have the best record in the NFC as my predictions, and then moving down the bracket, it's the Saints versus the Cowboys. And the only reason I believe Saints would make the playoffs is not because of their record, but because one team has to win the division. And I believe the Saints are the best team in the NFC South, meaning that they're the team that's going to move on into the playoffs. But are they better than the Cowboys? No, they're not. But are the Cowboys going to be actually successful this year? That's the real question. It always comes down to Dak Prescott. Can he stay healthy? And can the Cowboys not crumble away their season and throw it away? Well, I believe they at least move on to the second round of the playoffs as they beat New Orleans Saints. I believe the Saints offense can be better and the Saints defense is usually good. But I still believe the Cowboys are just a better team overall. So Cowboys move on to the second round of the playoffs. Now moving down the bracket. The Vikings versus the New York Giants. I believe the Vikings are the better team, but it seems like whenever they get into the playoffs or get into tight matchups, they always blow it and they're never able to succeed and move on to the next level. And I believe this is a year that they get over that hump and they're actually able to move on to the second round of the playoffs as they beat the New York Giants. I still believe that Daniel Jones and Saquon Barkley, I believe they're going to be like a regular season team, but they're not going to do as good in the playoffs. I don't believe Daniel Jones is there at a high level where he could carry a team and carry offense. I still believe that relies on Saquon Barkley to carry the load, and I believe he'll get worn down as the season goes along because of the huge workload on him, and the wide receivers aren't really as great with the New York Giants. They seem to have all like slot wide receivers. Yes, they added Darren Waller, but he hasn't really had much production in the last few seasons since his breakout year with the Raiders. But I believe Vikings, they get over the hump and they're able to move on to the second round of the playoffs. The last team and the last matchup in the NFC for the first round is the San Francisco 49ers versus Seattle Seahawks. And this one, I don't believe it's going to be close. Seahawks, they snuck onto the playoffs, but I still believe the 49ers are like the second best team in the NFC when they're all healthy and if Brock Purdy is able to continue what he did last season. I believe the 49ers defense is one of the best defenses in the NFL and it seems like Kyle Shanahan always gets their offense to produce no matter who's at quarterback or no matter what's going on. So the San Francisco 49ers, they beat the Seattle Seahawks and Christian McCaffrey carries the workload once again and they move on to the second round of the playoffs. So the teams that move on in the NFC through the first round into the second round are the Philadelphia Eagles, the Dallas Cowboys, the Minnesota Vikings, and the San Francisco 49ers. And now we move back to the AFC for the second round matchup. As we saw, and as I predicted, Miami Dolphins shocked the Bills and moved on to the second round of the playoffs. And now that means that since they're the lowest seed, Steelers move down the bracket and the Miami Dolphins move up the bracket as it's the Miami Dolphins versus Kansas City Chiefs and not the Steelers versus the Chiefs. So the Miami Dolphins versus Kansas City Chiefs, I do believe this is where the Miami Dolphins run comes to an end. They don't shock the Kansas City Chiefs and the Chiefs move on to the third round of the playoffs. The Chiefs having the connection between Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, it just seems like they can never lose. And if they have Patrick Mahomes on their team, their team is always going to be good and always go deep in the playoffs. And once again, that's what they do this season. Even though I believe explosiveness wise and fast and speed wise, Miami Dolphins offense could be better than the Kansas City Chiefs, in terms of playmakers on their offense, I do believe it all comes down to Patrick Mahomes. And I cannot bet against Patrick Mahomes. And that's why I have Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs moving on to the next round of the playoffs. So that's who moves on to the next round. Moving down the bracket, 
we have another AFC North matchup. We had it in the first round with the Baltimore Ravens versus the Cincinnati Bengals, and the Cincinnati Bengals moved on, and now we have it again with the Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Cincinnati Bengals. And I believe once again, even though the Steelers, they're going to be a sleeper team this year, and I believe they finally get over the edge and win a playoff game, I believe this is where the Cincinnati Bengals still beat the Pittsburgh Steelers in the playoffs, and they move on to the third round into an AFC Championship game against the Kansas City Chiefs. I believe the Pittsburgh Steelers' offense and defense are going to be amazing this season, but I still have to see something from Kenny Pickett before I'm able to make the Steelers go farther in the playoffs. I know their defense is amazing with TJ Watts coming back and being healthy. Their offense has a lot of playmakers, but I still need to see that next step from Kenny Pickett before I'm able to move the Steelers on and say the Steelers are really a contender in the AFC. If Kenny Pickett shows that throughout the season, these predictions could change. But until he shows that, I just can't move the Steelers past the Bengals just yet. Maybe next season, but not for right now. So, the AFC game, the teams that move on are the Kansas City Chiefs and the Cincinnati Bengals once again meet. So, moving over to the NFC bracket, we have the Philadelphia Eagles versus the Dallas Cowboys. And once again, I believe this is where the Dallas Cowboys run comes to an end as well. Even though they're able to beat the Saints in the first round matchup, I believe the Philadelphia Eagles are a better team. Their defense is stacked, and now hopefully their defense is able to pick it up and not kind of leave off where they left off in the Super Bowl, and they're actually able to get back to what they could do and what they did during the regular season. So they beat the Dallas Cowboys. I believe the Eagles offense is also better than the Cowboys with Jalen Hurts leading the team with both those wide receivers and one of the best offense alignments in the NFL game right now and in the entire NFL. So their offense overpowers the Cowboys and their defense also overpowers the Cowboys just on paper and from what we've seen last season and that's why I believe the Philadelphia Eagles and Jalen Hurts move on to the next round of the playoffs. Moving down the bracket, we have the San Francisco 49ers versus the Minnesota Vikings. And once again, the Vikings. This is where their playoff run comes to an end. Over the past few years, they haven't been able to get over the hump. And it seems like whenever they have a chance to make it on in the playoffs, they end up failing and making a losing effort. But the San Francisco 49ers, they have a solid team. And this is not a game they should win. I believe this is the game the 49ers should win and not the Vikings. And the 49ers do beat the Vikings and move on to the next round of the playoffs. The defense, I believe, for the 49ers is amazing. And they're going to be able to shut down the Minnesota Vikings and move on. The Vikings defense isn't as great as the 49ers and I believe the 49ers offense could handle their own and that's why the 49ers move on. So the NFC teams that move on and meet in the NFC championship are going to be the Philadelphia Eagles and the San Francisco 49ers. So basically this is a repeat of what we've seen last season. Moving back over to the AFC, I'll start off with the AFC championship game. The Kansas City Chiefs versus the Cincinnati Bengals. I believe once again the Kansas City Chiefs will move on to the Super Bowl and beat the Cincinnati Bengals. I cannot vote and bet against Patrick Mahomes versus Joe Burrow. I know two years ago Joe Burrow was able to get the better of Patrick Mahomes, but I do believe the Kansas City Chiefs will once again move over to the Super Bowl and beat the Cincinnati Bengals. Their offense with Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey are just too good, and I do believe that the offense and the defense of Kansas City is still amazing, so they move on to the next round. Joe Burrow, he's still not able to get over that hump and make it to another Super Bowl again and get a win. Maybe next season will be his season, but for now, the Kansas City Chiefs still are on top of the AFC. Moving over to the NFC side of the bracket, the NFC Championship game, once again, the Eagles beat the San Francisco 49ers and move on to the Super Bowl. I said that San Francisco 49ers defense was good, but I still don't believe they're good enough to stop the Eagles offense. The Eagles have a highly powered offense with A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, Jalen Hurts, their running back situation where they really have a running back by committee kind of effort with DeAndre Swift and many more. 
and their defense has been really good. Their cornerbacks and their safeties and their defense linemen, they stack their defense linemen from Georgia. They have really good defensive backs who get interceptions like Darius Slay and many more. So the Philadelphia Eagles highly overpower the San Francisco 49ers. And I believe the 49ers, even though many say that they would have made it onto the Super Bowl last season if they had actually a quarterback, I don't believe that was true. And the Eagles once again move on and beat the San Francisco 49ers. So we finally have it. We finally have a Super Bowl. Once again, it's a repeat of last season. The Kansas City Chiefs versus the Philadelphia Eagles. But I think this one is different. I believe the Philadelphia Eagles will finally get over the edge and beat the Kansas City Chiefs in the Super Bowl. Yes, I just said that Patrick Mahomes, I can't bet against him. But I do believe the Eagles team is better than Kansas City. And I do believe both their defense and their offense is one of the best in the entire NFL. And I don't see a reason why, unless they just have a poor showing that day, that the Eagles would once again lose to the Kansas City Chiefs. I believe the Eagles are the best team in the NFL, both offense and defense combined and alongside special teams. So, Eagles win the Super Bowl and finally get their first Super Bowl, Jalen Hurts. I've been a fan of him and actually wanted the Pittsburgh Steelers to draft him back when he came out in the NFL draft. If you remember the year, Chase Claypool, the Pittsburgh Steelers didn't have a first round pick and they only had a second round pick. And I wanted them to draft Jalen Hurts and kind of move up for him instead of Chase Claypool. But they did not do it. This is a Steelers channel. That's why I'm bringing it up. I really like what Jalen Hurts is as a quarterback, and I believe he's actually a top two quarterback in this league. Many people say Joe Burrow is better than him, and even Josh Allen is better than Jalen Hurts, but I believe Patrick Mahomes and Jalen Hurts are one and two. I do believe Patrick Mahomes is still better, the best quarterback in the NFL by a long side, but I do believe Jalen Hurts is number two better than Josh Allen and Joe Burrow. And I believe the Eagles team is better than the Kansas City Chiefs. And they prove it this season, even though they weren't able to prove it last season in the Super Bowl. They're finally able to get over the hedge and win a Super Bowl. So there you have it. The 2023-2024 NFL Super Bowl winners is the Philadelphia Eagles. And this is my prediction before the season even starts. When we actually get into the playoffs and the season is over, I'll do it based off the real bracket, but this is my prediction before the whole season even starts. Let me know, know let me know your thoughts down in the comments below about who you believe will make it into the playoffs, who do you believe will each win each round, and who do you believe will win the Super Bowl this season. Do you like my predictions? Do you think my predictions are right for the most part, or is there some things you would change? Let me know down in the comments below. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below as well if you like serious content analysis reports. Like the video, turn on post notifications down below for the channel as well so you get notified when I post next year's video. I cover everything Pittsburgh Steelers, news, rumors, reports, and I even do things like this throughout the whole NFL and covering the NFL in general. So if you want to stay tuned to this channel as the season comes along just in a few days, Thursday against the Kansas City Chiefs and the Detroit Lions, and then Sunday, the Pittsburgh Steelers' first week one game. If you want to stay tuned and want everything to be covered for you in one spot, this is a spot for it. And as we come down to the regular season before it starts, there's many more videos I'm going to be making about the Steelers this upcoming season, like record predictions, bold predictions on who I think will break out, and more things like that. So there's a lot of content in this upcoming days before the season comes along and I'm going to get it all to you. So stay tuned to the channel, like, comment, and subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys all later. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.